been four years <coughs> since we've graduated. That does not sound okay, hearing that out loud. Spoiler alert, it's all downhill from here. But you can keep using your student ID for discounts. Why do you always get the pussy salsa? You know you're missing out. I'm a bad Indian. Also, I don't know if you heard, but you're not allowed to say pussy anymore unless it is explicitly empowering. Although, pussy salsa would be a pretty fantastic rapper name. This is just freshman year all over again, and you still haven't built up a tolerance. I guess some things never really change. Not true. You got rid of that L bean backpack. All right, I'll give you that. I do look 40% less like a turtle, but I am also like, 80% more of a giant mess. Well, I really told you, you need to get a new backpack to organize all the I just thought at this stuff. point, I would have more of my shit together. So, Ma, I've yeah. really been liking my creative <laughs> writing classes. Ba, ba. And I'm thinking of changing huh? my major, actually, huh? from pre-med huh? to English huh? and... <laughs> Turns out my mom is right, because not a doctor is not an actual career plan. It's just an endless cycle of unpaid internships and part-time jobs and struggling to pay your student loans on time and teaching your boss how to download a PDF. Well, follow whatever your sister does isn't much of a career either. Dude, you just got a promotion. You have an actual real person job. I know, I know, okay? I'm, I'm super grateful, but when I heard I got the promotion, I couldn't help but wonder. I may have a real person job, but do I feel like a real person? I thought we decided that I'm Carrie Bradshaw and you're Miranda's boyfriend, Steve. No, because I'm Kate in a shitty sequel about her life where she's OG Dumbledore and I'm replacement Dumbledore. Okay, hey man, slow down. Richard Harris freaking died, okay? And Michael Gambon brought a much needed edge to a sinister and dark world. Boy remains, my Dumbledore will always be in the shadow of her Dumbledore because she set Dumbledore precedent. So, how's school going? It's going really well. I totally mastered how to make the perfect waffle at the dining hall. And I went to the club fair last week. It's gonna be pretty hard to pick which ones to join. Wow, so how many offers have you gotten so far? Offers? From your interviews with the different clubs. Wait, you have to interview to join a club? Well, yeah, for the good ones. Oh, you mean like the Quidditch team? No. I mean like a business friend which will help you get a summer internship, which will lead you to a mentor, who will introduce you to a sponsor, who will offer you a job before you graduate. You know, at least that's what I did. Totally, totally, totally. Can you just totally repeat the second, the third, the first, and the fourth thing you just mentioned? Yeah, Audrey, don't worry about it. You have plenty of time. Kind of. I mean, mom and dad are so proud of you for even getting into Berkeley. Yep, they text every day in the group chat about how proud and so amazed they are that you even got in. Wait. You guys have a group chat without me? Well, we mostly text in Korean, so you wouldn't really be able to read it. Echo. What? What? It's an inside joke. Her money is so funny. Our grandmother is in this group chat? Oh, I'm always in Kate's shadow. I thought when they mailed us her diplomas, like six months later, we get another certificate that said, congratulations, you're an adult, you've made it, and you don't have to worry ever again that everyone else is happier than you, and you'll impress your manager, Linda, at work, and you'll call your parents like every week and they'll say things like, Omo, I love you, and Omo, your skin looks amazing, and you'll use your vibrator like every day, and you'll say, oh, wow, I'm empowering myself, wow. Hold up. I never even got my actual diploma. Were we supposed to get that in the mail? Did I even graduate? And now, to celebrate the newest graduating class. Grace Liu, Engineering. Alex Alvarez, Integrated Biology. Wow, they really blew a lot of money in that new speaker system. Jill Whitfield, Art History. 
Anjali Roy will buy a house in four years and feel like she's made her parents proud. Chad Samuels will walk into every room knowing he doesn't have to prove himself. Brianna Lee makes zines that no one buys but doesn't give a shit because she knows she's an artist. Priya and Audrey. Sad second Asian children. A pair of sad sacks. <clears throat> sad sacks. Y'all get it? We get it. Hi, excuse us. Do you think you could take a picture for us? We'd really appreciate it. Uh, okay, sure. Hatch, wanna, like, we're there? Yeah. Okay, um, together. One, two, three, go bears! Go, go bears. bears! Perfect. Okay, thanks, bye! Wow, that was really beautiful. Do you, do you want to take a picture right now of just us? Yeah, let's do it. I mean, we should be thankful for everything that we have. We should celebrate this moment right here, right now. Let's do it, let's do it, okay. All right. One, two, three, go, go Bears! Bears. Okay. Oh dear God. Oh, no, 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 no. What the fuck is that? I think it's our faces? Wait, wait, maybe it's just bad lighting. It's just bad lighting. See, I can fix it. I can put a filter on it, see? Nope made it worse. Do we look like that all the time? I think we might. Why hasn't anyone told us? We look like total sad sacks. We look like complete shit. If I'm being honest, I kind of feel like complete shit. And I know we're supposed to be like celebrating or treating ourselves or whatever today, but I've sort of felt like shit for a while now. And I'm starting to get scared that I'm just always gonna feel like shit. Are you scared? No. I'm just tired. Hey, hey, listen to me. There are only two things in this world that I believe in. Number one, Pussy Salsa's Grammy Award-winning breakthrough album, Beast Infection, and you, okay? No wonder you feel tired. You just ate a burrito the size of a newborn baby. I mean, you're right. I guess carbs turn into sugar, which turns into killing you, so. That's right, that's right. You know, we just need to eat better. I mean, that would probably solve like all our problems. Like, oh my God, we should just meal prep. I read about this accidentally on Goop one time. Yeah, meal prepping for like Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. Okay, now you're just naming days of the week, but I like where your head is at. This is genius. We get some Tupperware, we compartmentalize our food and our feeling. What? What? Anyway, let's just hack our way to happiness. Absolutely. I mean, is there anything else that we should do to make ourselves happier? No. 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 Is there anything you want to do? Uh, no, no. I mean, meal prepping, is gonna be a game changer. Because imagine, with all the money we save on food, we'll finally be able to afford better clothes and establish a hashtag aesthetic. And with better clothes, we'll look less like the male cast of Freaks and Geeks and actually start dating real people. And we'll Marie Kondo our apartment and our moms will be like, wow, you know how to fold everything. Everything. Let's go to Birthday Bowl right now. I forgot my burrito. And your purse. That too. We've got this. We aren't sad sacks. We are the masters of our own fates. Ready to start the rest of our lives? Here we go. I'll call Kate. I'll call Radha.